God says that the preaching of the cross to them who are perishing is foolishness. But to those of us who are saved, it is the power of God. God also tells us that if we are in Christ Jesus, we are a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Have you ever heard of the preaching of the cross and of the blood atonement and of forgiveness of sin and our repentance of sin? Well, today I'm telling you that you need to repent. Why? Because you're a sinner. You're on your way to hell. And because God has loved you, the price has been paid on the cross by the blood so that you can have forgiveness of sin. Now, see, that's the gospel message. The gospel message is not that God loves you, so you need to come and accept God. That really makes no sense. Unless you already know the true gospel message, which is this. That we are sinners without hope of God. No way to get to God. We're separated from God. Right now, the Bible says, we are condemned. Right now. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now that cross, that cross is a pathway through to forgiveness. The blood which was shed on that cross, the blood Jesus shed, he offered it to God as an atonement that we can have forgiveness through Jesus Christ. That forgiveness is through our repentance, through our, let's say it this way, just so you understand. If you don't know what it even means to repent, is that you realize, as God has already told us, that our sin has separated us from God. We're separated from God. Our sin's an ugly thing. In the eyes of God, it's a very ugly thing. We have no righteousness in the eyes of God. We only have righteousness through Jesus Christ. It is given to us. It's not earned, not deserved. It is given through us. And we come, and when we come to God, we come to the God agreeing with God, firstly, that we are sinners. We agree with God that we are sinners. And we understand our sin put Jesus on the cross. He need not die except for our sin. Our sin is an ugly thing. Now, when you went down the aisle, if you did, did you go down the aisle to accept Jesus with that understanding that you are a sinner and you are turning from your sin? As much as possible in you, you are turning from your sin. Did you do that? Well, I'd be very afraid of your salvation if you did not do that. Not many preachers today will preach the cross and the blood and an eternal hell. They give you a, a version of like God loves you, accept God, accept Christ. And maybe they may talk about sin. But if they don't really bring it home to you, is that it's your sin that is separating you from God. And except you repent, except you firstly agree with God, now, the reason I use that term, now some people may have an argument with that and think that's too weak, but the reason I use that term is that you agree with God, is that you can't be saying that what he has said is sin that is not sin. You can't be saying that homosexuality is not a sin. But God has clearly said over and over, it is sin. You can't be, frankly, you can't be accepting divorce for any cause and justifying it. Because God has said it was never so from the beginning. Only because of the hardness of our hearts did Moses give a right a bill of divorcement. But Jesus said it was never so. You can't be accepting these things and covering these things up. It is sin. If you have been involved in homosexuality, you need to repent and turn to God and tell God you agree with Him. It is sin to give you grace. And to save you. If you've been in a divorce where you did it for no reason other than your hardness of your heart, you need to repent. Now, you can't repair. I see no way sin can ever be repaired. It can only be repented. Yesterday is gone. But the call of God is today. And today, if you will hear His voice, repent. So, generally speaking, if you are lost, you need to repent and Turn to Jesus.
Call on God. Call on Jesus to save your soul. Repent of your sin. If you are a Christian who's been walking in open, defiant sin, then also the call today is to repent. Turn from it. Repent of your sin. In Jesus' name.